down to the lowest level I could get to. And I talked to my mom before it hit. My boyfriend was able to call me, so I got his call and um, tell me he was okay because the storm hit right, hit, hit his house. I was able to text my mom and let her know I'm fine and that she knew that everything was okay. And she texted me back immediately and said, great, I love you. Well, on April 27th, we had five or six uh, category three, four, and five. Uh, tornadoes come through the state of Alabama. Earlier that morning, the first wave of storms hit and knocked out the power to the area. Later in the afternoon, they started saying a second wave of storms was coming, that this was the big wave. And uh, wow, did they uh, ever understate that. They were so severe that the tracks are actually visible from outer space, from satellite. After the storm hit, picked up the Brian's phone, called right out. My Brian's phone, I, it's a good phone. Number one priority has been cell restoration to try to get down to zero cells out of service. And number two priority has been uh, uh, power. This is our, our mobile switching center. This switch switches all of the cell sites here uh, in uh, central Alabama, here in Birmingham. Right now, we have uh, technicians there that are working with our telco providers, the power companies, uh, mobilizing our vendors to wreck and fill operations. The cow is here. It is a cell on wheels, so it will enhance the service in here to make sure that we have the coverage that we need to support the community. Four towers fell down like this one, and we had, uh, I believe, over 80 uh, sites out of service. So right now we have 77 sites on uh, generator, and uh, we're down to 13 sites off the air at this time. We're here to augment civil authorities, uh, try to help out any way possible. We need uh, hot spots. We're running a uh, tactical operations center for the recovery. Verizon takes care of us. Everything we've needed, they've taken care of us. So after the storm and I couldn't get in touch with my family members, I thought, you know, I'm going to get back to Verizon. And after the storm came through here, I tell you, I had no service, couldn't call and check on people, so, and um, my friends had Verizon, they could still use their phones, so therefore, I decided to come over. I'm an insurance agent, and you know, down here in Tuscaloosa, the, the storm hit, people making claims and things like that, and it's important that I have, you know, reliable service, and I've heard through friends that Verizon Wireless uh, is very reliable, so, um, going with Verizon Wireless. Being able to communicate with friends and loved ones is key in a natural disaster. So what Verizon does is really works hard to prepare our network so that we have uh, the capabilities set up so that when the storms do hit and that happens, we have backup generators, all other kind of mobile equipment can go out and ensure that our network is up and running when that storm hits. So we get face those challenges head on. After the storm, at least Verizon phones still just work just really well. Just call family, people were calling, where are you, are you okay? And we're able to reach a lot of people on this phone.